Yo, what's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. It's been a long time. <laughs> it's been a long time since we worked on cars with each other. Well, I hope you've been doing all right. Hopefully you haven't missed me. Did you even know I was gone? Hmm? Hmm? Lots of things have changed since I vlogged. Um, I got a TV set up in my garage now. AC in the garage. It's not perfect. Oh, I got a dog now. He's a boxer. His name's Otto. Hey, Otto. Hi. <laughs> and yeah, um, I've pretty much just been cluttering up my garage, making it very hard to work in here. I finally have some time to work on the cars again, and I feel kind of bad. Like, I haven't been updating you guys on what I've been up to, like, car project-wise. Honestly, I haven't really been focused on car content, so I actually haven't even really worked on my cars. I've pretty much just been working a lot and just hooking up the garage. I mean, you see this? <laughs> I'm trying to improve my uh, sound quality in here, and I think it helps. Well, anyways, this is what we got going on today. I bought a whole energy suspension bushing kit, and there's a lot of stuff in here. This is every single bushing for the front and rear suspension. I've already done the upper control arm on the driver's side, and that was it. I spent all last night doing it. And that thing took forever. <laughs> I mean, yo, all I did was install two bushings and it took all evening last night. I think I started around 7 p.m. and didn't finish till about 11. <sighs> I've lost my touch. <laughs> but I wanted to make sure that I can do it before I vlog. Because if you've been following me for a while, you already know, I tend to jump way ahead of myself and not really know what I'm doing. But hey, man. That's the name of the game. That's how you learn. Yeah. The reason why a lot of people don't like the Prelude Type SH is because there's a lot of specific parts to the SH that are pretty much discontinued or non-existent, which I guess is pretty much the same thing. <laughs> pretty much, if you have a Prelude Type SH, most people will just convert the whole front end suspension to a base model, which means you got to source a lot of parts like the steering knuckle, the radius arm, the sway bar, lower control arm, the upper control arm, and camber kits if you have that. Do you see what I'm getting at? That's just a lot of parts to source. But luckily, I found this suspension kit, which is specifically for the Type SH. In my opinion, it was actually very inexpensive. This whole kit was almost $400. But I mean, if you consider all the parts you need to convert to a base model Prelude suspension. I mean, yeah, sure, I could probably get a base model front end suspension for cheap used, but you know, maybe in half a year or so, I'm gonna wanna get brand new parts because you know, more than likely they're worn down. This is almost a 25, this is a 25 year old car. <laughs> this is a 98, it's 2023. Bruh, my car is old. All right, well, let me stop rambling on. Let's hit the music and get this started, yeah. What makes the Prelude SH different from the base is that it has two lower ball joints. And in order for me to access this one, which is on this radius arm, my ball joint tool is really big and it can't go in there fully because of this brake caliper. But all I gotta do is just loosen these two nuts and move this out the way. Boom. Once you take that one out and loosen this one up a little bit, you should be able to just pull this up. It was easy earlier. <laughs> there you go. You can flip it up like that. And now I should have some room to put the ball joint tool on there. Yeah. This used to be my go-to ball joint tool, but if you notice, this is really straight. So when it's on a ball joint, it's actually hitting it at an angle. You see that? Whereas this one, 
has like a hook. So let's say the ball joint's right here. See how it's flat right there? That's more ideal so you don't um, bend the threads on your ball joint. In case you're planning to reuse your ball joints, this is a much better tool and uh, much beefier and much more expensive. <laughs> you could probably find a better alternative. Finally got the control arm out. Check this out. This is the type SH lower control arm on the driver's side. This bushing looks okay. There's a tiny cut right there. That's about it. But this one was definitely done. Look at that. Oh man. This one shouldn't be sticking out that far. <laughs> so this arm only has two bushings. And apparently this is in a different kit. I really like how they included it in the instructions. See, it says do not remove this bushing. This bushing is included in set 168106, which is uh, right here, 168106. So in case you just bought this one and don't have this one, that's why they say don't remove this bushing. Unless you have this kit, then you could replace it. A lot of people don't recommend doing your bushings without a shop press, but I'm actually able to do it with uh, two specific tools. First up is my Harbor Freight ball joint service kit. It's pretty much a giant C clamp, and I mean, it's pretty much a press. Look at this. This thing is beefy. Woo. And you'll notice that most of these sleeves are really big. So, in case this doesn't work, I got this Amazon kit which has a lot of pieces. Boom, feast your eyes. We have a bunch of different sleeves and under there's actually another set like smaller. So, oh shoot, that one's up there. <laughs> um, but yeah, this is actually very useful. If you're doing your bushings, I recommend the Harbor Freight ball joint kit, the Amazon bushing kit, and you need a you need a clamp, It'll, it's just gonna help. Not necessary, but this helps a lot. Because when you set this all up, you're gonna have to get everything lined up nice and straight and something to hold it in place while you try to wrench it down and press out the bushings. But enough talking, I'm not even halfway done and it's already been a whole day. <laughs> Let's do this thing. Okay, almost everything about this job so far has taken a lot longer than I expected. <laughs> well, I finally got this close enough to pretty cleaned up. Uh, I found it was really useful to use like a uh, flat head. If you can, get like a chisel with a sharp head. And this blade really helped clean it up. You can see it's still kind of black. There's still some material, but I'm gonna be able to clean that up really easily with the uh, Dremel. Earlier I tried using the Dremel while I had a lot of thick pieces and that happened. So you wanna try to remove as much as you can and then you can clean it up with the Dremel and it's gonna look really nice. Yeah. Check this out. 
Dang. Super nice and clean. All the hard stuff is out the way. It's really easy to reinstall the new bushings. Energy suspension will provide you with a lot of grease, but from what I read, this isn't enough, especially if you have a whole kit. So I'm gonna be installing this one on the very end right here. It's gonna require four pieces, the metal sleeve, a center bushing, and then two outer bushings that's gonna surround it. The trick is to use a lot of grease. <laughs> um, you wanna start with these rubber bushings first, and then we'll press in the metal sleeve and that should be that. So this bushing actually looks a little too big for this slot. And I think I have to remove this metal ring in here. So pretty much, I don't think it was necessary for me to clean all this up. Wow, what a waste of time. <laughs> On the upper control arms, I had to reuse this silver um, cylinder thingy. Man, what? So now I gotta press out this super thin metal ring, but had I known that, this job would have been way easier. Oh man. It specifically says, do not remove the OE outer metal shell from your upper control arm. It just says for the upper control arm. So, yep, that's where I messed up. I need to push out both metal rings from this one. Well, actually I'm not sure about this one since that's in a separate kit. Whew, man. Everything is taking a lot of time, but finally got this little ring out and it's actually smaller than this one. So you can kind of just go straight through. But check this out though, this thing is already clean. Woo! Oh, so for what I've heard is um, the reason why you want to grease this up really nicely is because these uh, polyurethane bushings will tend to squeak if they're dry. So make sure to be Pretty generous with the grease. Plus the grease is only gonna make it that much easier to press it back in. But if you got these press tools like me, it's gonna be way easier to reinstall the bushings versus removing them. Look at this, I learned a little trick. Just do both sides at the same time. So easy, I should be able to do it like this. Okay. Nice. Yo, I just realized I used the wrong sleeve. Look, <laughs> it's not long enough. I didn't even bother to check. This is the correct one. See, it goes the full length. Oh man. Uh, this is why I love working on cars. <laughs> Woo. Finally. We got the lower control arm back in. Bushings are done. The upper control arm is done. The only thing we need to do left on this side is this right here, the radius arm. But yo, I'm freaking tired. I don't know what time we started. I wanna say we started at like 10 a.m. and it's now five o'clock. Look at that butt. Yeah, no, <laughs> it's now five o'clock. And um, I just wanna do nothing, man. Like. My lower back hurts. I was doing everything on the ground, even though if I have a table. If you can, use a workbench. Don't be like me. <laughs> You're gonna have to do downward dog. Oh, Otto, do downward dog with me. Come on. Uh. Yeah, my lower back really hurts. And I don't know if I told you guys, but I'm on vacation and I'm supposed to be relaxing. <laughs> Bro, get out, get out of here. Well, that's gonna do it for today, guys. We wasted a lot of time doing a lot of unnecessary work, but hey, at least now I know and I'm prepared for the passenger side. Yeah, I don't know when I'm gonna do that because whew, I've been working on the driver's side for almost a whole day now and I'm still not done. <laughs> 
But I, uh, it was good catching up with y'all. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, let me know. Leave a comment down below. Tell me you guys miss me. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Deuces.